Secrets to Success in Pre-Algebra at Parkland College. Pre-Algebra at Parkland is set up with tools and resources to help you do well. I'm one of them. It's good for you to know how to use your notes and Alex and the online quizzes to get the math you need into your brain so you can get it out at test time. You're running your show. First, get a spiral notebook with pages. Get a binder. I can give them to you from the Lerman Commons. Do the Alex problems and keep your work in the binder. I've got printed practice pages ready. The problems you do now, you'll be doing problems like them all semester and beyond. It's great for studying for the final. Negative 5 plus negative time has to be negative 10 all year. Second, super, super important, you get three chances at those weekly quizzes. Only the best grade counts. Nobody's watching you, but if you're copying from the notes or just using the calculator to get a good grade, you're cheating yourself. You want to know them for the tests. Do that first quiz from your head, not the calculator. I have quiz sheets I can give you. Put each problem in its own box. You need to know. Negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10 all year. Then when you're done the first quiz, go to the report, go over each problem, and fix any that weren't right. Write down that work. This is the best kind of studying for math, doing math the right way. Then when you take the quiz the second time, use the notes from the quiz. The problems will switch numbers around, but number one will be like number one on the next quiz. So the first quiz might have said negative 5 plus negative 5, negative 10. And the next one might be negative 2 plus negative 2, negative 4. Same idea. Adding two negatives makes things even more negative. Your goal is to be able to see a problem and be able to figure out what to do to solve it. If you got one right the first time, do the same thing to get it right again. If you didn't, ask yourself what you have to do to fix it. Do it right this time. Then go ahead and do it the third time. Remember, only the best grade counts. The bottom line, you need to know the math to pass the class, and you can. Train your brain. Don't cheat yourself. Hope to see you in the Learning Commons soon.